Hi there, and welcome to this lesson on Pure Mathematics 3. And in this lesson, we'll be looking at how you can locate the roots of an equation by using the change of sign of the function. Okay, we'll go straight into an example. You've got a sketch there of x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 2. And you're asked to find the value of this function when x equals 2, the value of the function when x equals 3, and then explain why your answers prove that there must be a root of the equation between x equals 2 and x equals 3. I'll let you have a go at working your way through this. So pause the video, have a go, and come back to me when you're ready. Okay, let's have a look. First of all, we're asked to find the value of the function when x equals 2. So substituting 2 into there would give us this, which gives us minus 2. Substituting 3 into the function gives us this, which gives us plus 8. And then part 3 says, explain why your answers prove that there is a root of the equation between x equals 2 and x equals 3. Well, let's have a look at what's going on here. So if we add scales, you can see this first solution here, when x equals 2, uh, f of x is minus 2. That'll be that point on the graph. The other point, when x is equal to 3 and f of x is equal to 8, that'll be this point on the graph. Now here at x equals uh, 2, we're underneath the x-axis. The curve is below the x-axis. Here at x equals 3, the curve is above the x-axis. Now, if that's the case, somewhere between x equals 2 and x equals 3, the curve has to cross the x-axis. And when it crosses the x-axis, that's where y equals 0, and that will be a solution to this equation, which will be this point here. Now, you may be asked to explain this in the exam, and there is wording that you would be wise to use. So first of all, just talk about the change of sign, because there is a change of sign between f of 2 and f of 3. But also, it does matter that you have what's called a continuous function, and we'll come back to that in a few moments. So, and because f of x is continuous, there must be a root between x equals 2 and x equals 3. Now, there are four situations you should be aware of when you're doing that sort of thing, and you're looking at the sign of f of x, and how it changes. The first possibility is that there is a change of sign between the two values, like we had there. So one of these values will be positive, one of them will be negative. And if that's the case, then the first possibility is exactly what we just had, that there is a single root somewhere between f of a and f of b, like we had here, and there's the single root. Sadly, that's not the only possibility. The second possibility is that there is a change of sign between the two values. So f of a gives you a positive, f of b gives you a negative, or the other way round. But there are no roots between f of a and f of b. And this is where the function needing to be continuous comes in. If you had a situation like this, where you had 1 over x minus 2, then at x equals 1, you get a negative value for the function. When x equals 3, you get a positive value for the function. But there is no root between those two values because you've got a reciprocal function and you've got an asymptote here and two separate curves. So this function is not continuous. It has a break at x equals 2. There is a third possibility which is that there is a change of sign between the two values, f of a and f of b, one of them is positive, one of them is negative, but there are many roots between f of a and f of b. It'll always be an odd number. It's where you have something like this. Now, at this point here, it's something like minus a half for x, and this is about plus a half for an x, but between minus a half and plus a half, there are three separate roots. There are three points where the curve crosses the x-axis. So that can happen. And the fourth possibility is that there isn't actually a change of sign between the two values. So they're both positive or they're both negative, but there are several roots between f of a and f of b. And in this case, it will be an even number of roots. And this may have something like this. 
So you've chosen two values, both of them give you a positive answer for the function. But uh, in this case, the curve cuts the x-axis twice. It could be four times, six times, eight times, any even number. Okay, example two. Have a go at doing this. Show that there are two solutions, alpha and beta, to the equation f of x equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0, such that one of those roots lies between 1.6 and 1.7, and the other root lies between minus 1 and 0. Now, there's two separate questions here. You'll need to put these two values into the function and make a deduction. You'll need to put these two values into the function and make a deduction. I'll let you have a go at this. So pause the video, come back to me when you're ready. Okay, let's have a look. As I said, we treat these things completely separately. So first of all, the value of the function at 1.6 is 1.24. The only significant thing about that is it's positive. The value of the function at 1.7 is minus 0 0.2521. The only significant thing about that is it's negative. Therefore, because there is a change of sign between 1.6 and 1.7, and because this is a continuous function, there must be a root alpha such that alpha lies somewhere between x is 1.6 and x is 1.7. Looking at the other pair of values, the value of the function at minus 1 is minus 1, the significant thing being it's negative. The value of the function at 0 is exactly 3, the significant thing being it's positive. And so again, because there's a change of sign between x is minus 1 and x is z, uh, x is 0, and because the function is a continuous function, there must be a root somewhere between x equals minus 1 and x equals 0. OK, example 3. Sketch the graphs of y equals 2 to the power of x and y equals 3 plus log x on the same axis. And then after you've done that, first of all, uh, from your graph, state the number of roots of the equation when 2 to the x must equal 3 plus log x. Show that the equation 2 to the x equals 3 plus log x can be rearranged to give log x minus 2 to the x plus 3 equals 0. Show that 2 to the x equals 3 plus log x has a solution somewhere between x equals 1.8 and 2.2. And then lastly, find that solution to one decimal place. So quite a lot of work to do there. Pause the video, have a go at working your way through this, and then come back to me when you're ready. OK, let's have a look. So first of all, we're asked to sketch the two graphs. Well, y equals 2 to the x uh, looks like any function a to the x. It will have that general shape. y equals 3 plus log x will look like that. And then the first question says, hence, state the number of roots of the equation when 2 to the x equals 3 plus log x, well, that's asking when the two curves intersect each other. Well, they intersect here and here. So there must be two roots to the equation 2 to the x equals 3 plus log x. We're then asked to rearrange this to get this. Well, that is trivial. All you have to do is move the 2 to the x to the other side, and you do get this equation. But the significant thing is this. You've started off with two graphs, and you're asking when those two graphs intersect. That's exactly the same equation as this, where you have one function, a much more complicated one, and you're asking when it equals 0. Now, if I was to sketch this function, log x minus 2 to the x plus 3, then I would get this purple curve down here. Now, if I'm asking when does it equal 0, then I'm asking when does it cut through the x-axis. And you'll notice that these two roots are exactly the same as these two roots. The x values are exactly the same. Which means that if you have an equation like this to solve, and you need to do some work on testing where the roots are, then you can rearrange it to the standard form and just look at whether the value of the function is positive or whether it's negative at different values of x. So part three asks us to show 
that uh, these two intersection points here, um, that one of them is between 1.8 and 2.2. Well, what I do is I look at the rearranged equation and I check the values of that. So at x equals 1.8, the rearranged equation gives me a value of 0 0.106. At x equals 2.2, the rearranged equation gives me a value of minus 0 0.806. That means that there's been a change of sign. So there must be a solution to the rearranged equation somewhere between 1.8 and 2.2. But these two equations were always exactly the same equation. So the original equation, 2 to the x equals 3 plus log, log x, that must also have a solution somewhere between x equals 1.8 and 2.2. And then we're asked to find that solution to one decimal place. So we'll do that by looking at the rearranged equation. Uh, we've already found this at x equals 1.8. That's what the function equals at x equals 2.2. It's negative. So I know there's a solution somewhere between 1.8 and 2.2. I'll halve the distance. So we'll look at x equals 2.0. If I put 2.0 into the function, then I get an answer of minus 0 0.307. Now, 1.8 is positive. 2.0 is negative. That means there's a solution somewhere between 1.8 and 2.0. The obvious thing to try is 1.9. And if I put 1.9 into the function, I get very close to zero, minus 0 0.090. Now this is negative, 1.8 is positive. And I guess the question would be, which of those is closer? We only need to give the answer to one decimal place. The most sensible thing to do for this question is to look halfway. So to look at x equals 1.85. And if I do that, the, volume, the value of the function is positive, 0 0.010. So at x equals 1.85, the function's positive. At x equals 1.9, the function is negative. That means that there is a solution between 1.85 and 1.9. Now, it doesn't matter what that solution is. To one decimal place, it is going to round to 1.9. So therefore, to one decimal place, the solution of the equation will be x equals 1.9. OK, that gets us to the end of this lesson. If you've got the textbook, turn to page 161 and have a go at exercise 8a. Thank you very much for listening and cheerio.